What's going on, Saviors? GH here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is February 9th, 2023, and we're taking a look at the free-to-play online games that were making waves in the gaming community. So grab your snacks and get ready to dive into the world of online gaming. And with that said, let's do this. First up, Lost Ark just got a new update adding a new continent, Rowan, located west of Shushar. There you will be doing a new story quest, and by the end of the story quest, a new faction PvP will be introduced. There's also gonna be new events like the usual, do some endgame content, and get some goodies. One event though that's slightly different is the Hot Spring Events PvP, where you duke it out with other players using a dock hammer and see how it goes. Rules for the events are presented at the beginning of the match. And including in the patch, Lost Ark also got the nerf for the Guardian Raid Kali, turning it into a Descaluda in disguise. And lastly for Lost Ark, we got new cash up items, mainly cosmetics for classes. The next news for today is for PSO to New Genesis. The game got a new update where the final form of Dark Falls is added. This is a boss fight connected to the story of the game. And along with this update, PSO 2 New Genesis also got new weapon series, the Neos Astrian and the Neos Justitine. There's also a collaboration with the popular virtual library group Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji N. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. There's also a new 24 person limited time quest where you defend the transport from hordes of enemies and some of them are megalotics. And the rest of the updates are cosmetics as usual, cash up related stuff. And for those of you who haven't played PSO2 NGS for a while now, we have 4 regions available and the last region is the Steel region, the volcano area. And with that update comes along new story missions, items, new systems. PSO2 New Genesis is getting better and better every update but it's still a long ways to go. Okay now recently, NCSoft released a director preview for Throne and Liberty offering a glimpse into what the game has in store for us. The preview showcased different maps, character customization options, a brief preview of the flying mounts, and the developers are talking about their plan to release Project TL on mobile platforms. It also gave us a sneak peek at the game's combat which is reminiscent of Black Desert Online and they elaborated more on how classes is going to be on Throne and Liberty and instead of one weapon, we can carry two weapons. And according to the developers, changing between them will allow players to maximize their own strength. And based on most new sources on the internet, Throne and Liberty is slated to be released in the first quarter of 2023. There's already an internal beta testing for the game and we're now waiting for a public test so we can all check it out. Next news is gonna be for Sony's Horizon MMO or what most news sources are calling Horizon Online. According to MTN Korea, NCSoft is developing a new online game with Sony's flagship game franchise Horizon. It's not confirmed if it's gonna be an MMORPG or a hub MMO or something like Dauntless or Monster Hunter. One thing that we can be sure of is Sony's working with NCSoft. Sony has been wanting more live service games on their platform and this is one way they could do it. This is on early stages and if I get more information, we will talk about it in future news videos. The next news is from Amazon for Blue Protocol. Amazon Games is gonna be publishing Blue Protocol and this comes from Amazon Games website. And in this article, it states that at the Game Awards, Amazon Games announced a new publishing agreement with Bandai Namco Online Incorporated to bring Blue Protocol, a multiplayer online action role-playing game featuring beautiful anime-inspired art, to North America, Europe, South America, Australia, and New Zealand. Blue Protocol will be free to play and will launch for PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5 in the second half of 2023. With a closed beta on PC earlier in the year, so there it goes, a release date schedule, but as always guys, delays happen, so don't be too hyped. Next bit of news is for Ares Rise of Guardians, the developer's second dive released an official introduction to this upcoming game, and it's confirmed that it's going to be an MMORPG. And in the introduction video, it shows more cinematics, some gameplay, and a more in-depth look in the flight mechanic showing combat and movement. Furthermore, they also showed some mech gameplay where it's looking similar to Mech Warrior. They also previewed some character customizations where they showed some options that we can change. And at the end, they also previewed some bosses that you will encounter in the game. Next news, it's an end of an era as Gamigo is finally closing down area games by transferring their last remaining MMORPGs to different companies. So if you have a character on any area games title, you should be receiving an email with instructions on how to transfer your account to the new servers weird news for me as area games no matter what your opinions on them they're the publishers that allowed me to enjoy pc gaming at the time that i couldn't afford buying games if you have a bad or good memory of any area games title please share it to us in the comments down below that should be fun and now on steam mmo news alchemia story on steam now has a planned release date and it's on February 22, 2023. If you're not familiar, Alchemist Story is a cross-platform turn-based anime MMORPG. It's a decent cosplaying game. And for the last news of the day, Gloria Victis is trending on Steam. 
Gloria Vectis is a buy-to-play medieval MMORPG that's developed by a Polish video game developer, Black Eye Games. It's set in a low fantasy medieval world. It's currently getting a lot of attention on Steam as they officially released the game on February 8, 2023. I just thought that you guys wanted to hear this as the game is super cheap on Steam. And that's it guys, if you want to see the top 10 MMORPG based on Google Trends, there it goes, leave a like before you go. And this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one.